All right, guys, I got an actual fish on now. Oh, yeah. oh he's not down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> One was trying to force me into his truck, and like, there's someone else, there's a couple other people behind me, and like, How's it everybody? Down here at one of our favorite easy to get to little spots. Makaha down here with Big Boto Harrington today. The douche to uh, whichever broad just said how's it on the road. How's it back? We're gonna try out some a uh, couple different rigs today. I got some lure action and a dunk and Bo's gonna be running a bobber. We will target what's working and run with that. Tide is a uh, Right now it's at its low point, it's about to start coming in again. Wind is a little bit onshore, but not bad. But the waves are flat, which is awesome, so pretty stoked about that. Yeah. All right, Bo and I are all strung up. I'm gonna get my first cast of the day in. Oh, my bait fell off. First cast, didn't work out too prime, but new hook, not gonna be as slippery. New piece of bait, squid instead of the stick fish. Let's see how we go now. I'm gonna get my other fishing pole too, dude. Sample out this silver cast master a few times. If it doesn't work out in the first like 10 casts, I'm gonna switch over to my smaller golden one, even though it is a lot smaller. Oh, I had a fat whack. Yeah, something just racked it, yeah. I forgot that the treble hook on this actually broke last time I was out fishing, so I replaced it with just a little one straight hook. That's probably pretty prime, I'd say, right there. I'm gonna hook this up, run them, see if the gold is any better out here. Bo and I have both lost some rigs already, so uh, uh turtle's coming to whack Bo's line, he's gotta get it out of there. I'm switching up to another whipping rig, I just used one for a few minutes, and boom, hit some Ina. Sun is just setting. I like this spot at nighttime a lot, so I'm hoping that's a real good sign for us. The wind is kind of dying down. It's just fluttering between in and offshore right now, so hopefully it's gonna rotate and go offshore as well. That would be sweet. They got a fish on. Yep. Got our first little something of the day, everyone. The small something. I think I see some silver on it. Oh, super small papillo, nice. No, it's not a papillo, what is this? Oh, to'ow. Oh, poopy to'ow. Poopy just didn't poop on me, stop it. This thing just became my live bait. Oh, nice, perfect little one. All right, put that to'ow out as a piece of live bait if anything monster comes through. Hopefully it's hungry and it sees that. Sun is uh, just set it. So we're right on schedule for fish to start coming in hot. Sun is officially down. Bo and I are all restrung up. Good to go. Now it's just a matter of waiting. The clouds are crazy right now, guys. It's pretty sick. Wispy and Beautiful. All right, guys, I got an actual fish on now. Oh, yeah. Whatever it is, is uh, not just a little baby to out on this one. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what do we got? <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, this thing has scrap to it. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Oh, it's scaring stuff out of the water over there. What is this? What do we got? What is it? Oh, fat freaking huge one. I'm gonna bring it in on the shore over here. A solid size papillo. Oh! He's trying to run the rock. Bringing him in. Gotta gas this thing, I forgot my net. Oh, here he goes again. Almost got him. He's almost gassed, guys. Oh, there he goes, one more run. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Come on. Bringing him in. Oh, he's not down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, this thing's monster, good one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a papilla right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on. That low one, yeah, it's called a papilla alkea or a big eye trevally, giant trevally. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gonna wash them off real quick. Yeah! Right on. A papillo? <laughs> yeah. So pretty. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, he got side hooked. That's crazy. Big slam, but he looks really mad right now. Oh, yeah. He is a. Ha, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah, this thing is nice. <laughs> this is it nice? Look how I hooked him, dude. I side hooked him. He came and whacked it on the side. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is gonna be grinds, man. Oh. Woo! The way we hooked him, I don't know how this happened, but if you look, he got hooked on the side of the gill plate. That is crazy. <laughs> hooked him. Yeah. That's. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my, yeah, oh, the sorry. way these things. Right. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, the way these things eat is they ram and try to stun their prey. So he tried to just ram. It. I don't know how it got hooked like that though. I've never. That's like a really good side hook. <laughs> Woo! Give me the pliers. Unhooked. Oh, <laughs> biggest one I've caught in a while, dude. That's what it is. I'm stoked. How are you preparing? I'm putting a full, this is big enough that I can fillet. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Woo. You want to get a picture with it? <laughs> yeah. You down to grind them? Okay. Oh, that was exciting too, dude. Right on, right on, guys. So, yeah, we got some solid dinner right here. We'll have to get the crew together to eat this one, man. Yeah, that's a nice size one. Perfect size for grinding. Any bigger, and I'd put it back for Sigateria risks. But this is prime. Yeah, thank you. So I'm gonna set Bo up with a nice little simple, simple whipping rig. Get him running on that. All right guys, we got a fish on the big dunking hole right now. I'm not sure what it is. It's not very big. Oh, it's got a little bit of kick to it though, that's for sure. I'm trying to run to the right. Oh, he's right here. Oh, it's a shark. Yep. Come on, buddy. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Little mono. Right on. 
he decimated my bait, that's for sure. <laughs> he thought that the fish was running away and he was just holding on. All my live bait's gone, so I'm just throwing on this piece of uh, stuff that I was running earlier. All right, bait's back out. Oh, Bo's got his dozer. Woo, brah. Oh, that's the village a, eats tonight. That's a killer right there, brah. That was so funny. Bo reeled it in, and he's getting ready to cast it, and he's like, do I have a fish? And it's like, kitty little bug. <laughs> I think it's probably about the same size. Oh, it's got a teeny little scrap in it. Mine, you couldn't even feel when it came up. That's what I was Oh, this is yanked out of the water, whatever it is. What is this? What we got here? What is this? Oh, it is a little. It is another little teeny Uber ball. <laughs> oh, it's about twice the size of yours. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Guess the Uber Paulus are out tonight. His big brother. Okay, right here. One more cast, and then I'm gonna go clean that fish. Let's go weigh it too. I got my scale. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna weigh out that papilla right now. Got our scale here. Tear it out to zero. Let's see what we got. Look at this thing, dude. It's bigger than I remember. <laughs> oh. It's like frozen in position. Okay, coming up. 2.8 pounds. Solid. Solid size papilla. One of the larger ones I've caught in a while. It was a good fight on that light weight test too, dude. Okay, I'm gonna clean this bugger up so that tomorrow when I fillet it, I don't have to deal with all that and it's gonna be more uh, clean fish because all the guts and stuff are gonna be gone. So, it's cleaning time. Get them all washed off. Come on. It's definitely something, huh? Uh. Can I go? Whatever it was came off. Ah. Uh. Let's let this cruise here while we're finishing up. The bigger the fish, the more epic the cleaning process. It's like that Star Wars movie part where he like cuts open the yak. Yeah. Of it. Right on. All clean, bro. I'm gonna go wash all this yeah. goop out now. We'll get that bug in the water. Throw this way out. Uh, sure, you want to just eat this raw, though? Uh -huh. I'm good. <laughs> Saute it with some butter. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The part that counts. Getting it all clean early, dude. I don't know if we just get a bunch of stuff and like stuff it or something. We could, but they're really good pan fried, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just taste super good. I was, gonna, I was thinking I was just gonna cut it into chunks, yeah. fillet it. Get a bunch of holes, nice chunks. Mm, like crusted or something in front? Mm -hmm. 
Reddit. I'll wait to fillet it when I have a proper knife so I don't ruin any meat. Yeah, for sure. That is a clean fish, guys. Good to go. Nice. Okay, guys, just brought in the dunk pole. Something whacked it again, but didn't hook up. That's all right, because we're good to go. We're uh, gonna go wash everything off now. Head back to the truck, head back over to home, and um, in the morning, I'm gonna fillet this bugger up, and then we are going to cook it. So, catch and cook is on, dude. Papillo style. Stock. What's up, everybody? The next day after Bo and I went fishing, last night we cleaned the fish, so that's all taken care of. And uh, I'm gonna now fillet it so that I can head over to Brada Matt's house and we can grind. I am definitely not the best filet that's out there. But you know, how are you gonna learn with experience, right? Bingo. No, that's not half bad. Got some of these bones out of here. Lateral lines pretty nice on these guys. That's pretty nice. Much better on this side. Boom. Oh, that side was way cleaner than the first side. Not half bad. Let me get over to Bo's, Matt's house. I can cut this a little bit more. Thank you, fish. Maybe we will fry this part too. Okay, right on, we got our meat. I'm gonna be meeting up with Bo and Matt, maybe James here in about an hour. So I'm gonna go wrap this up, put it in the fridge, and then it's time to grind.
I could just throw this away, the rest of this fish. Be a reasonable thing to do, but since I killed this guy, and I also want to have a nice little garden in this area that I just cleared out not too long ago, I'm going to go ahead and plant him, let him become some awesome soil, and then turn back into a different kind of life, plant life. Waikolo, where I live, is a... Uh, we got decent dirt, but we don't got good soil. You know what I mean. So doing this kind of stuff really improves your garden. So just plant them six or more inches deep. Cherry. Toss a big rock on it. Boom. Nothing's going to dig it up now. And uh, in like a month, a couple months time, that's going to be awesome little section of garden. Okay, guys, we're at Matt's Holly. Soup, soup, soup. Bo's made it back. We got these two beautiful fillets here. I'm gonna cut out some of the bones and then cut this into nice, just big chunks for us to eat. And we're gonna just simply uh, bread batter them up and then fry them one speed. We got a whole bunch of sides. We got two mangoes from my tree. We got some sweet potatoes over there or something. Bo's got us some sausages and the biggest buns ever for the sausages. <laughs> And brought Matt's got the vegetables on lock with a dozing amount of asparagus. So, yeah, we're about to have a stoking meal. So good. Yeah, buddy. Matt has oiled these buggers up, spiced them, little seasoning. Oh, dude, it's about to be delicious. I'll get the sweet potatoes ready and then we're gonna be cherry. Matt is lighting the BBQ. We're gonna cook all of our vegetables as well as our sausages on this guy, and then I'm gonna pan fry up the fish. One thing Wendy Waikolo is good for. Making fire. Making fire. Oh, fire <laughs> as we know from our big brush fires we have all the time. Yeah. Got the sweet potatoes going already. Bo's now putting on the awesome sausages. Oh, you rotate these too. Gotta keep this on like a total permanent rotation. Those are almost done. Brought a both style. So he's gonna stick on these uh, extra large buns, if you know what I mean. Time to grind those. Still got the fish ready to go. Matt, no, nope. Alan and uh, Maya. Maya are almost here too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to begin frying the fish. I'm gonna heating up this oil. Nice little chug a lug of oil there. Boom! Most important thing here frying fish, one of these things. By the way, Maya and Alan made it to do! <laughs> do some simple breading on these. A little oil to dip them in. Oil's ready. First piece of fish is going in. Yeah.
so good. Mmm. that John. Crunch on that morsel. Look at that little morsel right there. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Oh. Oh. Maya's got these onion rings on lock. <laughs> They're heating up oil that's not gonna be all fishy right there. <laughs> now it's for the uh, piece of resistance, the center fish bone. Boom! Yeah! Oh, right here, it's the most delectable piece, dude. Mmm. Uh -huh. Fish nugget. Mm-hmm. Mmm! First round of onion rings are done. This part, you don't have one. Mmm. Oh, they're tasty. Alright, the last part of the fish is done. Taking it out. Ooh. Boom. Look at that sizzle. Soup. Okay, guys, we're done. We're gonna finish up by grinding. Got the papillo done, onion rings. We've pretty much been poo pooing the whole time, so half the food's already gone. And then a final thing, sweet potatoes are done. Right on. Oh. Matt just slammed himself on that fridge. I look pretty sore, my man. <laughs> All right, everybody. Tadoosh!